What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPE series. We will finally begin with the climbing system, we will set up the surface attachment and climbing movement. Later on in the next episode, we will be also adding animations and so on, but in here we are going to basically start with the main mechanics and logic. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is go into our third person character blueprint. And yes, we are not going to be setting up an actual component like we did, for example, with our attack system or player stats, uh, etc. And this is because we're going to be touching a bit the player uh, input logic, okay, movement and so on. So it's going to be just easier if we just do it directly in our uh, blueprint. So let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. So we have a few things over here. Um, so basically, let's just go ahead and find a space. In this case, let's go over here in this part. It doesn't really matter. The first thing that we're going to touch is the character movement component. So let's go up here. And I'm going to do is just search for fly. Then you see some settings over here. First of all, we have to enable the can fly movement capability. Then also in the max flight speed, We'll change this to be 350 so it will be way smoother and more realistic and it's just not like running through the whole wall you know what i mean and then also we need to put some braking deceleration because not the character will slide while basically climbing and we don't like that so let's set up into around a thousand you can play with these values but this one will work great for me and uh you're probably wondering why are we touching flying if we're gonna make uh, climbing well the thing is that we're gonna be using the movement input of flying for a climbing system and it sounds a bit weird but it's exactly what we need it will basically allow us to go up down left and right and basically just you know be free <laughs> so we're gonna be using that one now let's go ahead and set up an input first of all also just compound save just in case something crashes we'll still have this saved very important Anyway, let's go into here, third person, let's go into the input folder and go into actions. And now we can do it one more time, but with our climbing. So just right click, go into input and then create an input action. It's going to be EA underscore and it's going to be just climb. OK, and then we can just open this up and actually we don't need to do anything. So you save and close. And now what we have to do is open the scene uh, input collection and just add our new mapping, which in this case will be our, well, let's just search it, there we go, climb. And then we can set a key. In this case, I'm gonna press this button and then press a key in my keyboard, which in my case, I'm gonna press a K. Again, this keys, the majority of them are just temporary. When we get a bit of a to level design and game design in general, and starting to tune things out, we'll probably just assign it again the keys because they're just to keep, keep us going, right? And not be, you know, putting a lot of time into this right now. Anyway, that's it up. So we can just close this and go back into third person character blueprint and just right click, go into EA underscore and just go into the climb. And again, it's going to be the hands action events, the one with the arrow. And here we set to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new function. And this will just basically calculate where we want to attach into our surface. So let's go into functions, create a new function. That's going to be attach to surface calculation there we go so now in here what we need to do is just go and do a line trace by channel there we go and now we're gonna be setting up some starting points and end points in this case our starting point will be get actor location and then that will be there so literally where our player right now is and then for our end point what we want to do is get the actor rotation and then we want to get our forward vector basically where the character right now is looking at so it's basically in front of him then what we can do is just multiply this by the distance that we want to be able to uh, basically attach and what we're going to do is right click and convert this into a float so it's a nice number and just drag this into here so it will be as an input so when we call this we can set the distance that we want to be able to detect and attach into the surface let's go ahead and rename this into distance and actually we can just do attach uh, distance that'll be a bit better attach distance there we go and now with this value over here what we can do is just get the location 
and just add it with this point over here and the end point. This can be very similar to other traces that we have done before, but this is exactly what we need. Now we'll need some outputs. So what we can do is just uh, click this over here, then go into outputs and add an output. In this case, our first one will be hit. And this will just contain our hit we sold. So make sure to uh, search for hit we sold. And I'll just put it over there. Now this will give us a new node that we turn on is plug there and plug in the hit we sold. And also what we're going to do is plug in our um, basically if it's you know, success. If it has hit it something. And of course, this has to be a boolean. Let's plug that there. So then it will basically use launch a line tree to detect our surface and give us all the things that we need in our return node. So we can go back into our event graph and close these two things we need that right now. And pretty much we are ready to go and continue with our stuff. So uh, what we're going to do right now is when we press the key, we're going to be calling that attached to surface calculation. So let me drag it in and let's do install it. Okay. Very important, not in trigger because that will occur a frame. We just want to do it once you start pressing the key, basically. Now let's give us some distance. In my case, let's do something as 100. So if you are 100 units in front of something, you'll be able to grab. Now I'll only continue, of course, we have successfully hit something. And now let's go and get the hit result and break it. So now we can expand this and get all the parameters that we need. Now, first of all, before actually doing some stuff with this, we have to set up some things. So uh, let's get the character mode component. And like I mentioned before, we have to set the movement mode to be on flying. There you go, flying, very important. If not, we will not be able to climb because we will simply just fall and everything. So flying will perfectly work for us. Now, another thing that we want to do is get again the character mode component and now set orient rotation to movement to be disabled okay so unchecked because we don't want to be looking at the direction that we're moving we always want to be facing at our wall with that said now what we can do is call this move component component to node so this will basically move our character into a certain position that will be the perfect position to attach the wall so in this case the component will be our capsule component which is basically a parent of the whole blueprint. So let's go ahead and plug it over there. We can just move it over there. And then we need to basically pass our location and so on into our uh, rotation into our move component from the line trace calculation that we did. So let's go ahead and do so. You can right click and put this here. It's just a bit you know, nicer and neatly. Uh, there we go. Um, so let's first of all do the rotation, which is simpler. So we're going to get the normal of our wall or surface or whatever we had detected. The cool thing is that this climbing system will not only just work for plain walls, it will basically work for whatever mesh, like literally a rocky uh, structure, you will be able to climb it. So uh, what we can do is get the normal fit, all right? And then basically times it by right click, go and convert this to the float by minus one. So we'll be basically inverting this and now we can use this make rot from X node in order to get the rotation. So basically, we will get the rotation facing the wall. And now we just want to plug that into our target relative rotation. Great. So with that said, what we can do now is basically calculate our location itself. So for that, we're going to go and get the capsule component. All right. And then get the capsule radius, which will be in the bottom. Okay. The radius. Now with that said, what we can do is multiply that radius with our normal okay like i saw over here maybe we need more space well that's yeah that's i think that's okay and then what we want to do is get the location and add that into our multiplication here and this will basically give us the exact location that we want with a bit of separation from the capsule radius so it's perfectly placed okay now we can leave the over time to be 0.2 so it will be a nice transition. You can play with the value, so it'll be quicker or slower, but that will work great for me. So with that said, I can just compile and save, and now we can actually test this if we press K in a while. So let's go ahead and set up a bit of a test here, right? So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this and just put it over here. 
and let's just make it a bit smaller and thinner so it's more like a wall and then let me go ahead and just make this a bit higher right now it would just be a simple wall just to test so i can just press play go into this wall and now you'll see that when i press k the character will move into there you can see that now i am not uh, moving more anymore to basically facing where i'm oriented so i'll always be facing the wall and then also um, I have a bit of a slide, which will be cool. Maybe we can change that, but basically the movement is different, right? And if I press K again, it will snap into the wall each time. Now, of course, don't worry. We can have different meshes and the body will slowly orientate to where it is moving. So don't worry about that. Right now, we're making the snapping. Okay, this is not the logic itself, the movement. This is just the snapping at the beginning to be in the perfect position and set up the movement cap a little bit uh, to be basically in flying and so on. So what we can do is select all this, press C to command this and call this something as climb. As simple as that, climb. Now let's just put the preset over here so it's nice and beautiful. Great, so with that said, we have that we can press a key and we'll detect our surface and we'll go and basically begin to, you know, snap into it and so on so now what we have to do is set our climbing movement so we will always be you know moving across uh, the vertical axis and horizontal axis in that surface so for that what we have to do is create a new custom event and we are not going to create a function because this will basically contain a timeline to smooth things out so what we're going to do is go here let me just press a custom event and this will be our climb movement uh, okay. there we go i don't know how to spell this correctly so in here we are going to once again use our attached to surface calculation this will be with a bit of a bigger distance basically 120 and this is used to prevent basically surfaces from being imagined with a big angle separation and then suddenly your character falls because it was a bit more forward from the character we want to basically be a bit more safe so when you put 120 there a bit bigger basically we'll only continue of course if this is successful and then we can get the hip result and break it to get all the parameters that we need for it but right now we're going to be using this so we're directly going to go into true and then add movement and we're going to be using the add movement input as you may know this is exact same node that we use, we need to clean it, <laughs> this over here, yeah, we'll need to clean it. Um, the exact same node that we use, our movement input in the normal one. But we're going to be using this one, but with a different axis and so on. So basically, we want to get the wall direction and plug it in the climb movement and also the scale value. And this will be gathered from before in that section that I just showed. And now I can just make this like this, or well, let's add some rerouting so it's a bit nicer. Both our wall direction and scale value. There you go, just put it there. Nice and beautiful. Great. So with that, basically, it will be adding some movement input in that axis. So actually, we can implement that. Actually, no, I just wait a, bit, uh, a few seconds. Um, but let's also set up the rotation snapping because not the actor well basically a player will not always be facing the surface because this is done initially at the beginning when we press the key but once we start to climb the mesh that we're climbing okay the rock or whatever it might be turning and now it's a different angle so i want to snap back again to it so what we can do is basically you set the actor rotation and basically on here what we what we could do is just get the normal and basically do the same that we did in the last time right click convert this to a float inverse it by just multiplying by minus one and then make rot from x and we'll basically get the rotation from outwards and put it here but the problem with this is that it is very snappy because it's instantly setting up the actual rotation and it doesn't look very good so what we can do instead right before we set up the actual rotation is add a timeline and this will be our um, align climbing well just climb align uh, to surface and now it's very important that we change this 
from play so hold control and move it from play to start this is very important if not it will just not work because it will be uh, always being reset so now there i can just open my timeline and basically change the length in this case let's do something as 0.25 and now we can just add a flow track we can just put the flow track as being the rotation and now we can just right click and add a key it doesn't matter because we're gonna be place it on zero and value zero and then we're gonna add another key and the time will be 0.25 and then the value one now we can just press the two keys so now it'll be perfectly on position so now what we can do is get this uh basically output and just do a lerp from a rotator so this will basically transition from two rotations with this alpha so this new uh rotation will be our set actor rotation over here and now the point b will be basically our new rotation from the climbing surface but our a will simply just be our get actor rotation so the one that we are currently in and with that said this should perfectly go ahead and work now of course we have to call this but first of all let's command this so you select everything press c and then say climbing movement and now let's just get close and just put a common color to be basically dark as always that's nice and beautiful and now yes we can implement this in our climbing input so let's go ahead and do so so for that let's go up here into our movement input as we have it here and let me select this uh comments that we have over here and this over here and let's move it a bit up so basically we'll need some space all right let's put a bit up there we go just move this up over here and let's move this a bit to the left don't worry we'll make it a beautiful once again once we finish this but basically what we're going to do is do a switch let's find the note switch on movement mode so basically depending on the movement mode right now it will change between the normal walking and the climbing so in this case let's just hold control and move this to be walking or falling so what we can do is uh just double click in here to add a reroute node and put falling here so basically we're walking or falling we want to go into normal input mode as we have it over here but if not let me split this over here let's put this over here there we go a bit more to the left let's put it there okay but if not if we are flying which in this case is climbing we just have to get used to it you know as flying is climbing we will basically use our new movement input that we calculated uh so let's go ahead and just get uh flying now remember falling from here and walking from here and then flying from here don't make the mistake of falling and flying they're a bit similar <laughs> and that we're going to do is just climb movement and um, let's just play this over here just double click to reroute it so it's a bit nicer there we go and basically on here we want to pass a wall direction in this case this will be a right vector so we can just get actor i think that was yes we can just do a right vector and just plug in the wall direction to be in there so this will be our horizontal movement okay guys and with that said we can put our scale value to be the one on the x so we can just go ahead and actually just double click over here and now just pass over here so it's nice and simple just double click here to put once again there there we go there's a lot of rerouting but it just makes everything more beautiful now so the same so just copy and paste this node put it at the end and now in this case this will be the get uh, actor for i don't know how to type i don't know how to type today there we go forward vector so in this case it will be moving uh sorry not forward sorry about that get a uh, actor up vector of course we don't want to go forward we want to go up or down and left or right so that will be great um so a vector and then the scale value will be in this case the y so we can just actually just put this a bit more into the left and just plug it there yeah that would do the job great so with that we can just expand our comment over here so it's nice and beautiful and i'll plug it up here but now we are left with one important thing remember in the switch on movement mode we need to plug it in the one that we are currently in so you just get the movement uh, component and get movement mo movement mode there you go get movement mode and you just plug it there very important do not forget this okay 
Now, yes, with uh, with that, we can uh, compile, save, go press play, and you'll see that when I get to my wall, press K, it will align. Now, I can go up, down, left, all right. So everything is going ahead and working as we expected. Now, let's add a bit more of a deceleration because it's basically moving a lot. So what we can do is go into here, fly, and we can just put, for example, instead of just a thousand, we can put a uh, three thousand. And now it will basically not have so much of a slice. Um, yes, yeah, way better as you can see. And you can play around the values, but that will work great for me. And the cool thing about this is that, for example, let me just put this a bit more into the right over here. Let me put this into the right and let me just duplicate this wall. Let me put it up and let me rotate it. So, and let me just put it a bit in. So imagine that this wall now goes a bit outwards. And then I'll also let me just duplicate this and rotate it like this. And let me just place it a bit over here. You can do so also what I'm doing right now, okay, to test if everything is working fine, okay? So I recommend just placing one over here like this and one over here like this. And let me just make this one taller. There we go, like that, it will work good. So now if I were to press play, I can press K and I can move up and you will see that it will basically always align into the surface angle. So everything is working as we want. Now also this will work in left and right. So everything is working as intended. Now the problem is right now is that if we go out, we are stuck. And also we press K, it will not work. So we need to do the stop climbing function. Uh, yes, don't worry, we'll fix the crouching um, common here. Actually, let me just fix it real quick. Just drag this over here. And let me put this like this, this like this, like this, okay. And this a bit over here, this a bit over here, like this, and then move it a bit here. There we go, nice and simple, okay. I had to do that, I could not stand that, okay. Uh, there's still some more comments to do, but it's okay. We're gonna go back into our climbing movement section over here, go down, and then do a new custom event, which will simply just be stop climbing. I always put that at the end. There we go. Okay. Good. So, the stop climbing. It's simple. What we're going to do is get the character move component and set the movement mode back to be at well. In this case, be careful. Do not set it into walking, do set it into falling because we don't know at the height that we are right now. So we want to set it into falling so we'll fall and then we're close to the ground and we just simply just land again. So we want to set it into falling, okay? Not flying, <laughs> okay, don't confuse, falling. With that said, now we can just go into the character mode component and set back the orient rotation movement to be true. So check that. So we want to also look at where we're moving as normal. And then what to do is do a small delay of let's say um, 0.05 seconds, literally nothing noticeable. And what to do is just set the actor rotation. In this case, we want to just right click and split this and set everything to zero except the uh, Z. So just say get actor rotation, right click split it and put plug in the Z and leave everything at zero. So basically, it is very important because once we finish climbing, our rotation might be left with the angle that we were on. And we don't want that. We want to reset it to be at zero, zero. But on Z, we want to leave that because it said it is simply on where it's looking. And that will just not really touch anything of the gameplay, right? What we want to reset is this. We don't want that or this back, right? So that's why we're setting this to zero, zero, except the Z, which is okay for us. Um, and we are needing a delay because if not, it will be reset it back the line trace because there's uh, basically, as you can see, a timeline. So there's some delay into it too. So this will be operating. So now I'll select everything, press C, and say stop climbing. Uh, the, uh, okay, there we go. And with that, so we can just apply the uh, preset over here. It's nice and beautiful. And now we need to set up the stop climbing. So let's go into climbing movement and we are not anymore detecting any movement, uh, sorry, any movement, any surface. We want to call the stop climbing over here in this branch. So we are not detecting anymore. It will stop climbing. And then on climb, we basically just want to make sure that uh, we are 
you know, uh, not climbing already. So what we can do is do a branch over here and just get the character move component and say get movement mode. With that said, we can just equal this and no, this is cool. No, it will be the enum equal. So now we can just have this available and say, so at this right now, sorry, it's, if it's not equal. So um, this and this. So basically the, the exclamation mark equal, not equal enumerator. So right now, if our movement mode is not equal to flying, okay, we can go ahead and climb because this flying is climbing, remember? So if we are not climbing, we are doing something else we can climb but if we are already climbing okay we want to go stop climbing as simple as that and now we can just plug that there expand the comment and just put it back over here and now nice and beautiful so now we can just press play now you see that when i start climbing at any time i can press k and i will fall back into the ground and also as I'm climbing, I can go to the surface, detect not anything, go back down, and my rotation will be perfectly fine. So that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I will really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. So basically, in the next episode, we'll be setting up the climbing animations, okay? So all about the blend space and etc. Then also, I don't know if we will make it in the next episode, probably, it will be then in the next one after that that will be the final uh, i don't know how you say it, vaulting on top of that basically just when you have reached the ledge on top of it basically just go on top of it okay uh, so you actually can have some functionality of climbing into things you know uh, but yeah that's that will go slowly so um yeah, there we go okay um so like video subscribe to my channel uh join my discord server and also follow me on my socials now yes the boss said bye bye